This is an owl. But what is an owl really? Welcome to this beautiful planet. Today, we're going to talk more about owls. So there are approximately 250 different owl species in the world and you can find owls in nearly every environment on the planet. You can find owls from deserts to coniferous forest all the way to the arctic tundra. In their taxonomy there are recognized two different owl families. You have the barn owls or the titanodea and you have the typical owls which is the strigidea. Owls are known for having well-developed talons, a soft plumage, and a very silent flight. Most owls have strong legs, which are feathered, and they have cytodactyl raptorial feet. Cytodactyl raptorial feet means that they have two toes facing forward and two toes facing backwards. All owls have a distinctive round facial disc. For typical owls, this disc is circular but for barn owls, it's more heart-shaped. Many owl species also have asymmetrical ears. This means that they have ears located at different heights on their heads. The reason for this is that it helps the owl to locate sounds in multiple dimensions. Owls are also more sensitive to low-frequency sounds than most other birds. And since they have large outer ear tubes and large inner ears, as well as their brains having more auditory regions than other species, the owl can actually pick up sounds a lot more efficiently. The owl eyes are more or less fixed in their orbits, and therefore the owl has great binocular vision, although they do have to turn their head in order to focus on the specific thing. But the owl can actually turn their heads up to 270 degrees to track the movement of their prey, so turning their heads isn't that much of a disadvantage for the owl. Some species of owls, like the great grey, can even hunt prey they cannot see, like mice hiding under the snow. They can do this because of their facial discs and their facial ruff that works in a parabolic way, which in turn improves their hearing tenfold. So it's basically uh, like having a radar on your face. Most owls are nocturnal, and during the day, most of them will stay hidden somewhere in a tree or something like that. And since most owls are nocturnal, they do have large forward-facing eyes with a high number of light-sensitive elements or rods in the retinas compared to other birds, which allows them to see a lot better in dim light. However, they cannot see in complete darkness. All owls are predatory birds, and they do hunt a variety of different species. They can hunt small mammals like rodents, but even as big as a young deer or a fox. Some species also hunt birds, lizards, insects, and certain species in Africa and Asia even hunt fish. When an owl catches a prey, it is devoured whole, while the bones, the fur, and or the feathers are regurgitated in pellets. Unlike a lot of birds, owls do not build nests and they rather utilize tree cavities or nest on the ground. And the burrowing owl actually uses underground burrows that were already dug out by a mammal. In all species of owl, the female does the majority, if not all, of the incubation, although the male does help out by hunting prey and feeding both the female and the young. In some species, the male will actually present food to the female as a courtship display. Most owls are sedentary, so that means that you will stay in the same territory year-round, and certain pairs of owls may actually remain together outside of the breeding season. A few owls are truly migratory, although some species have just smaller migratory populations, and other species may shift habitat seasonally, while some are still nomadic or in continuous movement, doesn't really have a territory. Unfortunately, on a worldwide scale, owl numbers have shrunk 
as humans destroy their habitat, usually to use it for agriculture or development. This forces the animals to compete for food in tighter spaces. Other common threats include hunting, dwindling food sources as climate change impacts their prey population, and even the ingestion of poisoned animals such as rats or mice. Sometimes, if someone poisons a rodent, an owl might pick up the rodent before it's dead or after it's dead, ingest it, and in turn, poison itself. Luckily though, most owl species are not under an immediate threat of extinction, but the International Union for Conservation of Nature does list at least a dozen species as endangered or critically endangered. These include a handful of island-dwelling owls, as well as the largest owl in the world, the Blackiston fish owl, which is found throughout Russia and parts of Asia. For this large owl, there are now fewer than 2,000 individuals left. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about owls, I did leave my uh, sources in the description. Also, let me know if you want some uh, more content about the owls. I'll be happy to make a more in-depth video. And feel free to let me know if you like the content I put out, because I always appreciate any feedback anyway. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Yeah. Yeah.